Who's Good Potato Spin the Leak here, and I decided to go ahead and do this one outside because it's a nice day, why not? It's time to talk about Saw the Final Chapter. Um, completely goes off the rails. Uh, the two traps starting off can be simplified as birth with full hose and don't be a racist dick. That's not really a big jigsaw lesson right there. None of this has been a big jigsaw lesson. Uh, the main plot revolves around Hoffman, who survived uh, Reverse Bear Trap 2.0, um, and him going after Jill Tuck. And a writer by the name of Bobby Deegan, who claims to be a Saw victim, but was never actually in a trap. This is actually something very personal for Jigsaw. He laid out everything, and Bobby had to go through um, a fairly long maze in which uh, four of his closest companions were involved. Uh, his lawyer, his publicist, and his best friend, which are pretty much involved of hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. They all covered for his lies. They knew what they were getting into. Um, and pretty much paid for the fact, like, uh, the, the first chick, the, uh, the publicist, all she had to do to survive the trap was shut the fuck up. She couldn't do it for five seconds. There are always people like that. And let's face it, we hit them all. There was nothing more satisfying than Bobby just yelling, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Uh, I'm not yelling very loud, because I'm, I'm outside. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! You see the difference? You know, in here, it's nice and echoey. It picks up my voice really nice. Um... No, that, but I don't have to put as much inflection in it. If I yelled at the top of my lungs, like, this thing probably wouldn't pick up any clear audio. Winston! Winston! We only woke up an hour ago. Or an hour and a half. Ba, 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 ba. You bite me! Ooh, scratch! Dumb fuck. All the different location changes in this one. But, yeah, no, aside from it being very personal for Jigsaw and the symbolism of hear no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil, there were no big lessons to be learned during this film. Um... They also started using CG heavily in this one. They were still mostly props, but in order to have a 3D event, they needed to go ahead and CG over a lot of stuff, which I don't blame them. The main thing about this movie is you were able to finally see uh, the reverse bear trap in action. And when I say the reverse bear trap, I'm not talking about 2.0 that Hoffman was trapped into. They grabbed the original and shoved it on Jill Tuck. Um, it's not much of a spoiler. It's been a lot of time, and if you're not familiar with the franchise, you don't know who the fuck she is or what her importance to uh, the central characters are, but... You know, it doesn't really matter at this point in time. Uh, all in all, uh, this one was more of an action movie than anything, and the characters actually showed human emotion because of uh, the desensitization of all the previous characters and how monotone they were. They just seemed cartoony and, you know, overly theatrical. It was, it was entertaining to watch. It was like watching a child struggle with a toy or, like, complain whenever it didn't get its way. Uh, it, it was fun. This, like I said... Uh, I, I think I refer on this just like a couple of seconds ago. This one was closer to an action film than uh, your typical Saw movie. So it was exciting in a completely different way. It's just Jigsaw's been dead. They took away from his MO. And uh, there's no telling where uh, the Jigsaw movie is actually going to pick up. Um, there was a nice little twist at the end, which I'm about to go ahead and talk about, but spoiler. Spoiler outside. Okay, so... You remember, uh, Dr. Gordon, right? Very first Saw movie? Well, here's the thing. Jigsaw likes talking to, uh, his victims once they survive. So it's only natural to assume that on his way out of the room, he ran to Gordon, patched him up, and you figure out that Gordon had been helping him with some of the more, um, intricate portions of uh, his previous Saw traps, specifically things having to do with the hidden, uh, the human body. Uh, he's hidden inside people, eyes sewn shut, mouth sewn shut, stuff like that. Um, he also gave information. He received an envelope after Jigsaw's death saying that uh, if anything happened in jail, he was to step in and act on Jigsaw's behalf. And he does, locking him in the room from the very first one, throwing the saw down the hallway and locking Hoffman in. So Hoffman could potentially be dead or maybe not. It doesn't really matter because Jigsaw movie is supposed to be like a decade later or something. Uh, but yeah, no, that, that was a nice little twist that uh, really I... I didn't see coming the first time I watched this movie. So, end outside spoiler, hello nostril. All in all, because of the experience, um, this one was entertaining in a different way. It's very rewatchable. Uh, it did tie into the others. And while it continued to take away from Jigsaw's MO, it, it's funny, this movie is about a very meticulous character, and yet the, the traps never really infer what he, or uh, never really support what he initially set out to do. Um, 
I always found that funny. This one's going to walk away with three and a half potatoes. I did really enjoy this film, but at the same time, the lack of consistency when dealing with the actual traps and what you're supposed to do or uh, the meaning behind them, it takes away from the entire experience. Everything else, though, fucking excellent. Uh, have you seen this film? Are you planning to watch it at a later date? Go ahead and post that in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you in another video.